Hello students welcome to my taxonomy class the topic for today's discussion is family scrofulariaceae scrofulariaceae family is also known as the snapdragon family or the figwort family it belongs to the order lamiales see it is a native to the open woodlands of uh, the countries belonging to the northern hemisphere it is found in the tropical regions it is found in the temperate region so it is a cosmopolitan family you can say the plants are generally annual or perennial herbs trees are quite rare here so let's quickly start our brief discussion now so let's start with the vegetative characters first we'll talk about the habit of this plant the plants belonging to this family are generally herbaceous in nature shrubs are also found but trees are very rare climbers are also found in pedicularis you will see root parasites then we'll move on to the root system here you will see branched tap root system the stem is usually round soft that is delicate herbaceous erect aerial and sometimes it is quite hairy that is pubescent you will find fine hairs on the stem woody stem is rare it is found in polonia you can look into the picture given here this is a exceptional case now coming to the leaves the leaves are simple x stipulate with entire margin unicostate reticulate venation phyllotaxy is generally alternate or opposite it is rarely whorled and is noted in veronica now let's move on to the inflorescence you will find both cymos as well as racemos and inflorescence here now coming to the floral parts we'll discuss a little deep here flowers are five parted bracteate pedicellate or sessile sessile flowers are found in lindenbergia they are bisexual that is hermaphrodite both the sexes are present pentamerous hypogynous complete zygomorphic the zygomorphic flowers have uh, biradial symmetry as well or rarely actinomorphic found in veronica and most important is the flowers are variously colored you will see very attractive colors in this family calyx is persistent sepals are five in number rarely four are found it is found in scoparia veronica all these uh, plants it is gamosepalous estivation is imbricate or valvate calyx teeth may be 2 to 5 campanulate or shortly tubular then we'll move on to the petals or corolla petals are variously colored petals are five in number gamopetalous sometimes two petals are fused this is found in veronica campanulate flowers are found in digitalis spurred spurred corolla is seen in linaria sacket is found in antirrhinum estivation is imbricate here now coming to the reproductive worlds androecium and gynoecium in androecium we see four didynamous stamens found they remain fused to the corolla fifth stamen when present like in digitally is a fifth stamen is present it is modified as staminode they are epipetalous polyandrous and anthers are basifixed or dorsifixed 
dithecus introds with a short filament okay then gynaecium the ovary is superior bicarpillary syncarpus with axial placentation style is terminal short simple and with bifid stigma usually a nectariferous disc is present below the ovary now finally we come to the fruit fruit is capsule or berry with many seeds and the seeds are endospermic in nature now i would request you to carefully look into the floral diagram followed by the floral formula the floral formula will tell you the entire discussion in one line whatever we have discussed whatever floral characters we have discussed is all given in that one formula so do not make a mistake while drawing the floral diagram very carefully look into the estivation while you are drawing and also while writing the floral formula be very careful about the number of petals number of sepals the position of ovary that is whether it is superior whether it is inferior please note these points before drawing and writing the floral formula okay so thank you very much for attending this lecture we'll soon be back with another family till then goodbye